to discuss World Environment Day, I'm joined now by Yi Xing Shu. He's the former research director at Breakthrough Energy. Thank you so much for joining us from Seattle. Thank you. Well, we just heard uh, about China's efforts, and we know that a lot of big cities there are already sorting garbage. But I want to get your reaction to what's being done so far and the progress being made, and when we can really see, start to see a difference. Yeah, so first, China is doing quite a lot in all aspects of protecting the environment. I think uh, handling plastic is uh, one of them. Actually, handling plastic is probably a relatively smaller uh, challenges China is handling uh, in the area of environment, and uh, China has done quite a lot. I'm pretty confident that with all the policies being implemented, we will see a lot of ch a good uh, positive changes happening in the in the future. Uh, but w I also want to mention that uh, 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 plastic is also contributing to climate change, and climate change is probably the biggest uh, environmental challenge all countries, including China, is facing. And to address the global climate change, China is actively developing uh, clean energy. So in 2022, so China's total electricity generation through clean energy reached 2.5 trillion kilowatt hours. As a result, China has established the world's largest uh, clean energy power generation system uh, with installed capacity of wind, solar, hydro, and the biopower ranking first uh, globally. So I think China is definitely taking the leadership uh, globally in order to address uh, big challenges like uh, a, a climate change and also plastic. So I'm very confident to see changes in the next uh, uh, several years or even decades. And hopefully other countries can follow suit and use China as an example. Um, it's not just so about changing laws, changing rules. It's about changing people's minds, behaviors. Talk to us about some of the challenges that remain with the plastic pollution. Absolutely. This is not just about the nationwide standard or policies. It's really about a lot of education needs to happen in everyone's life. Uh, I think uh, on the Environmental Day, one of the biggest events across the globe in many nations is that the, the education events, like teaching people uh, how to uh, handle plastic, how to substitute plastic with other things, and how to change your lifestyle so that uh, your life standard is still pretty good, but you don't have to worry about the, the plastic waste. Uh, and also, it, it's very important for people to uh, really thoughtfully think about how to handle plastic. Uh, for example, some of, some of them may think about, hey, we need to support the sustainable business. Like if you find your business, local business are doing their best to handle plastic, maybe you should go there and uh, support them. And I think what's hopeful is a lot of younger people these days are, are really um, in tune to all of that. You see a lot of young people getting involved in seeking out those sustainable businesses. I want to ask you about this uh, big meeting that happened in Paris last week and this talk of putting together this international treaty with the goal of having it all wrapped up by 2024. I want to get your thoughts on that and if you think 2024 is possible. Yeah, I think uh, the, the, the climate, everything related to climate is a, is a big issue. I think uh, it takes uh, all the country in the world uh, to to really to to discuss, to collaborate, to find a way to 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 to, uh, to fight climate change uh, effectively. So every country needs, for example, uh, related to uh, the country to country, for example, uh, the carbon market. Uh, all the countries really needs to find out the ways to prevent, for example, double counting, abandon secrecy, and promote accountability. A lot of issues we need to solve and also uh, we need to think about in order to get these things done. So the global collaboration is very important. And although there are challenges ahead, but I think we're heading to the uh, right directions. And all, all the countries now are aware of the climate change challenges and are thinking about all the issues related to plastic and other topics. And we're, we're trying to find ways to uh, to solve these big challenges. All right, we'll leave it there. Yixing Shu, thank you so much for joining us from Seattle. We appreciate your time.